you know, worked all week about starting fast and you can't, you can't have three turnovers in the first 11 plays. Uh, give up 17 points off those turnovers. Very proud of this football team that they kept fighting back. Uh, that's a tough way to start. They hung in there. I thought Nick Fanuzzi did a fabulous job coming off the bench and uh, calming us. Um, we still can't get the penetrations in the red zone and come out of there with field goals. You know, we eliminate our mistakes. We're in that football game with an opportunity to win. You can't take make those kind of mistakes. You know, I've got to players win win those games for you and coaches lose them, and I've got to get these kids in the right, right spots. We're trying hard. We're practicing hard. They show up every day and give us their all. We just continue. We've got to eliminate those mistakes. We've got to... When we get opportunities, we've got to take, take advantage of them. We hadn't done that. Did you get a gauge of what was the issue with, with Taylor? Do you think any residual effects from the concussion? Or just I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I just knew we had at that point uh, when you saw him go down with just one hand instead of you know trying to just fall on the football like you would think he would do. We just knew that we had to make a change. I don't have him talk to the the doctors to see. I just knew we needed our best chance to win this football game was getting Nick in at that point. But did he offer you the explanation in terms of the decision making, both on the passes and not just getting on top of the ball there? Well, I've talked to him, but I, he's offered no explanation. And at this point, I haven't asked. I've just tried to, uh, at this point, tried to just keep his confidence up and his head in the game. And uh, once I walk out of here, I'll go talk to him. The doctors. At this stage, do you make a decision about who you start next week, or do you let that thing kind of? No, we just got to, you know, we got a quick turnaround here. We got Houston Thursday, mm -hmm. and we got to see where this plays out. But I am very proud of Nick Fanuzzi. I mean, clearly he played very well. Did you? He did. Uh, yeah, I think he played. Came in, played very well. The one turnover we had there in the last play of offensively was nothing to do with it. So he didn't turn the football over tonight. And for us to have our best opportunity to win, we can't turn it over. And it's you know, the, that's an important position that he plays. At what point do you anticipate having that decision made if it's going to be Nick or if it's going to be Taylor? We have to sit down with the staff and sit down with the quarterbacks before we do that. How tough was it to see Taylor come out and struggle so bad at the beginning with two interceptions on his first two passes? I mean, that's, you know, that's hard on, on yes, obviously not how anybody wants to get this thing going. The, you know, the first one, he just didn't see the linebacker off the bootleg. The second one, you know, gets popped up in the air uh, by a young man just trying to make a play. And the third one, you know, I uh, just put it on the ground off that little sweep. And we, we just can't make those kind of mistakes. You know, you just you know, keep coaching him hard, keep coaching Nick hard. And the only way out of this mess is, is to keep working and stay united. There at the end, you were able to get to 31 to 20. Was there any thought given to trying an onside kick or reach? Yeah, we, uh, we actually, yes, a lot of thought. <laughs> what, was the, what was the reason for going against the onside kick there? Well, they actually, we had had one called, and then we just audible out of it. Thought we could get a get a three and out. It wasn't quite the look to look. Uh, wasn't the look we were looking for. They'd given us a couple of other looks, and we audible out of it. You guys didn't have a lot of penalties, coach, but you we had, had some, some stupid ones, some really critical drives. ones that stopped drives. And that's where we've got, uh, you know, it's, it's just. Some of it should be happening by older players. It just make absolutely no sense. Um, at this point, I mean, seven games in. What, what can you attribute that to? Because as you mentioned, they're not all we young just, guys are making the mistakes. Right. We just it's, we lose our focus somewhere along the way. We just we have to, to win football games. You have to stay focused. And you have to execute. We haven't been able to do that. And that's what's on me. A couple of, quite a few said a couple words about your defense. You got down 17-0 early because probably because of the turnovers and the defense kept you in that game, let you get back in. It's, Talk about talk about their play. Yeah, I thought you know the defense got put in some really bad situations. Uh, you know, then then they caused the big takeaway down there about the one and keep them out of the end zone. I, I thought we really. I hate the fact we gave that last one up. Bad coverage. X mix misjudged the football. But I thought they they battled and take some of those points off the game and we put a touchdown set of field goals. We're in it. Do you think they understand that? I mean, given how they really played exceptionally well until those last couple drives. I mean, is that something that you have to kind of, you know? Yeah, once we, we show them the, tomorrow, we we'll, we'll bring them back tomorrow and show them the video and then go to work on Houston and look at those, uh, those plays we did good and try to build on that.
Yeah, how do you handle a short turnaround like this? Because you guys go back out Thursday night. Just what's the? Well, you completely. Like I said, we're bringing them back over tomorrow to put this one behind us and go to work on Houston. You know, you don't have that lag time that you normally have. So we'll have them over here in the morning, give them treatment, and it won't be a practice. It'll be you know film and walkthroughs, yeah. and then go back to work Monday. Just got to count back your days. Any advantage at all in facing a team tempo-wise similar to Houston right before having to play them? Well, you know what? You just hope that, MK, that every week you keep getting better. You know, we keep playing these fast teams. I know how explosive Houston is offensively. I don't know uh, how they played against Marshall. I haven't heard any scores. 63-28. 63-28. So that shows you what kind of football team they are. Nick. Thank you.